Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today I want to talk about <clears throat> hair loss when someone has cancer. Now I keep getting queries from around the world and over the, couple, the last couple of years we've treated thousands of patients from across the world with this one problem of hair fall. There's one thing that I need to say right at the start of this video that when you lose your hair due to the chemotherapy that you're going through, you will get your hair back you will get your hair back in most cases. In most cases, you will. I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what happens into your body, in your body and why you lose your hair. And there are simple, natural, inexpensive things that you can do to minimize this loss, although certain chemos will cause your hair to fall. But if you continue to do these natural remedies and take care of your nutrition, you are gonna get your hair back. And sometimes the growth comes back much better than your hair ever was even before your cancer or your chemotherapy. Number one, we need to understand that all chemotherapies will not lead to hair loss. Most chemotherapies with breast cancer, yes, there is a possibility. There are some chemotherapies that will not result in any of your hair loss. Now, how does chemotherapy work in the human body? Chemotherapy, in its honest attempt to kill cancer cells, cancer cells are fast, rapidly dividing cells. Your hair follicles are also quickly growing cells. So chemotherapy attacks, it's designed to attack the fast, lead, the fast growing and the rapidly dividing cancer cells in your body. But unfortunately, it also ends up attacking your hair follicles, which are fast growing cells, and it also ends up attacking your good and healthy cells, which is why your nutrition and lifestyle is of prime importance when you are going through any chemotherapy. Because like I said, chemotherapy in its honest attempt to help you poison the cancer out of your body is also poisoning the healthy cells in your body, which is why people go through so many side effects. So when you have the right nutrition, the right lifestyle, ranging from your sleep to your movement, to your emotional stress, to the nutrients that your body requires, you manage to balance the collateral damage and side effects of most of the chemotherapy, ending, <clears throat> ending up with you suffering less, and number two, most importantly, keeping your immunity strong and high, because that's the only thing that can prevent you from a relapse in cancer, and it's the only thing that can help you to heal your own immunity, the own intelligence of your body. So when it comes to <clears throat> hair loss during chemotherapy, I'm gonna read out a couple of natural things that we've used for thousands of patients across the world and we've had touch wood, we've had great success right now. You gotta understand that you will lose hair if you're going through that particular chemotherapy because that's how your treatment is designed. That is the side effect of your treatment. But if you do the right things, in most cases, even if you don't, your hair is gonna come back. Now, in certain cases of radiation post-chemo, that's when your hair growth can be affected and sometimes you have patchy growth that comes back. You have hair thinning and you have you know, loss of hair or chemo-induced alopecia as well. The first is a mixture of coconut oil and castor oil. You wanna make sure that you get good quality, not refined, you wanna get unrefined or cold-pressed coconut oil and castor oil, and you wanna mix these two oils together, and you wanna apply it gently over your scalp. Now, you gotta remember, you do not wanna massage anything into your scalp or into your hair in a very hard manner. You do not wanna massage it. You wanna gently rub it into your hair and into your scalp. The second thing, it doesn't smell good, but fantastically um, powerful when it comes to hair loss is onion juice. You just take an onion, you juice it, add a little bit of water, and you spread this over your scalp or in your hair. You keep it in your hair for about 30 minutes and then you wash it out. And you do this every single day. <clears throat> We've spoken about the benefits of raw potato juice. You take a potato with the skin, gently wash it, juice it, and then you use this juice on your scalp and on your hair as well. It will form a thin crust in about 30 minutes. You keep it for about 30 to 45 minutes and then you wash it off again. <clears throat> Also, what's working really well is a combination of castor oil and coconut oil. So you take about two, tables of, two tablespoons of coconut oil, you gently heat it warm, just warm, and then you wait for it to cool. You touch it with your finger because you don't want to burn yourself by putting hot oil into your scalp. You add to the two tablespoons of coconut oil, you add one tablespoon of castor oil. And now you take curry leaves. You take curry leaves, these are green curry leaves. You can take them fresh or you can take them dry. You temper it in the coconut oil, while it's, heat, while it's being heated, you let it cool, you mix in the castor oil, and you apply this on your scalp. Now this is not just for people going through chemotherapy, this is also for people who have poor hair fall and hair growth as well. But that's not the only reason why you lose your hair because of the chemotherapy, uh, the chemotherapy's action on your hair follicles. Why you also lose your hair is because chemotherapy wipes out 
every class A protein and most of the vitamins and minerals that are required, not just for your immunity, for your organs, for your hair growth and everything else. So what are the vitamins and protein as well? Your hair is protein. You, have the, you need the right amount of protein for your hair to grow the right way. You know, for the luster of your hair, for the growth of your hair, for the thickness of your hair, you need the right amount of protein as well. And here you are going through chemotherapy that's wiping all of this out of your system. So zinc, vitamin B7, which is also called biotin. You have vitamin C, you have vitamin E, you have vitamin B12, you have iron, magnesium, and omega-3. These are all the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, nutrients that you need for healthy hair. And unfortunately, chemo also wipes all of this out. So you can go on putting oil, but you need to do the inside out approach as well. You gotta start eating foods which are rich in these vitamins and these minerals because it's being lost, it's being depleted with the, with the treatment. You gotta put it back into your body. So you have an external application and then you have things that you need to do internally, which is why nutrition is so important when you're going through cancer. Forget about just cancer. Any sickness, it all comes down to the nutrients that you are feeding trillions of cells in the human body. So from your chia seeds, to your pumpkin seeds, to your almonds, to your Brazil nuts, to your walnuts, then you have all your raw vegetables, you have your juices. Of course, we wanna be careful of raw vegetables while we're going through chemo. You wanna, you wanna settle down for vegetables that you can peel in case there are pesticides because immunity is usually low during uh, chemotherapy, so you don't wanna have any infection buildup because you've got pesticides in your system through your fruits and vegetables. So you wanna look out for vegetables that you can peel like carrots, beetroot, pumpkin, cucumbers, anything that can be peeled and then juiced or eaten in the form of a salad is great. So you have your fruits, your vegetables, your nuts and seeds, and these, these foods are teeming with all the vitamins and nutrients that you require for your hair, which is why it is so important that you put all of this stuff back into your body along with all of the external applications we just spoke about. Now, what's used commonly across Europe and some parts of the United States are chemo caps, which are made out of ice. So you have ice chemo caps, which you put on your head while you're going through chemo and the science behind this, although it's not yet FDA approved, but that's not the concern. The science behind this is vasoconstriction of your follicles. So they say that the chemo cannot reach your follicles because it's constricted and that's why you keep a lot of your hair. Now we don't have experience, we don't have patients who have used this, but this is just something I thought I'll share with you because there are a lot of people who swear by using these caps that their hair is better and they don't lose that much of hair while they're going through chemo. Now the most important thing is your mindset because it's unbelievable how we see people in the villages that we treat with chemo and radiation and they go through all of this. They're unaware of the side effects of chemo. They're unaware of the fact that you may lose your hair. And it's unbelievable, the same chemo that makes women in urban cities lose their hair or even men because they have that awareness and they have that fear when they're getting into the chemo that, hey, I'm gonna lose my hair. It's unbelievable to see that this set of population that has no knowledge about hair loss, most of them don't even lose their hair. So you see, there is a whole mind game in the whole thing. What we know about can actually manifest, our worst fears can manifest into something which is real. Now, we know how chemo works in the body, we know the reason why it causes hair fall, but just imagine if you change your mindset and you walk into your chemo believing that, hey, my hair is gonna be fine. Even if you start losing your hair, you hold on to that mindset because we've seen how a positive mindset or how a mindset that you mold according to how you wanna be through a chemo you know, uh, works out for you. There are patients who walk in from villages for chemo, they don't know that they may be sick, they may be nauseous, they may collapse, they may be weak, they may have to be carried out. They don't know that and most of them, they finish their chemo and they're smiling and they're laughing and they get into a train and they travel, you know, 36 hours or 48 hours back to their village. So there is a huge connection between the mind, what we think and what we manifest into the body. So yes, there's a lot of media, there's a lot of fear when it comes with cancer and chemotherapy and effects and all of that stuff. But remember, the power that you hold in your hands is your mindset, how you wanna see it, no matter what you read, no matter what anyone says, if you can really control that mindset, I believe it's gonna make a difference because we see, we see it happening all the time. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.